the 10% brain myth, why this famous fact is complete nonsense. Quick question, what percentage of your brain do you actually use? If you said 10%, you've fallen for one of the most persistent myths in all of science. This idea is everywhere. Hollywood loves it. From Lucy to Limitless, films constantly suggest we're walking around with 90% of our brains switched off, just waiting to unlock superhuman abilities. But here's the thing, it's absolute rubbish. We use virtually all of our brain, virtually all of the time. Even during sleep, most brain regions remain active. How do we know? Brain imaging. PET scans and fMRI technology can show us exactly which parts of the brain are active in real time. When scientists scan healthy brains, they don't find vast dormant regions. They find activity throughout nearly the entire brain, even during simple tasks. Think about it logically. Your brain consumes about 20% of your body's total energy, despite being only 2% of your body weight. Evolution doesn't waste energy on dead weight. If 90% of your brain was useless, natural selection would have trimmed it away millions of years ago the same way you wouldn't buy a high-end gaming PC just to use the calculator app. We also know from medical cases that damage to almost any brain region causes noticeable problems. There's no spare 90% sitting around doing nothing. So where did this myth come from? It's often attributed to psychologist William James, but he never said we use 10% of our brains. In 1907, he wrote that we use only a small part of our possible mental and physical resources, meaning we should strive to develop our abilities further not that most of our brain is switched off. The myth also likely stems from early neurological research when scientists didn't understand what many brain cells actually did. Not knowing their function, some researchers incorrectly assumed they were useless. The specific 10% figure seems to have emerged from these misunderstandings, getting repeated so often they became fact. The real tragedy isn't that we only use 10% of our brains, it's that we use 100% and still believe something so demonstrably false.